one whole antibiotic free chicken chopped up into about 15 to 17 pieces season it with uh, sesame oil and then uh, soy sauce a little bit of salt and pepper and then add in just about half a tablespoon of sugar ginger powder and some rice wine or sake some garlic or garlic powder And just stir it well, season it for at least one hour. You can keep it in the fridge to one and a half hours before cooking it. You can pre-season, sprinkle a cornstarch before searing it. And then whole cloves of garlic, like six, seven, eight, eight four, five slices of ginger, onion, carrot. I want spring onion, and then I'm gonna add in my French beans. Mix it well with the starch a little bit, give a little bit of a coating, help to sear and also to uh, keep the moisture after you fry it. That's all. That's all we got. So get the wok really hot with a little bit of oil and then just add in the chicken, little, few, few pieces by at a time. So don't move it around, just let it stir for a while. So we just kind of turn it around after it's, it's a bit still golden, it's lightly golden. Yeah, something like this color you're looking for. Oh, it's a little bit burned here. All this searing will give some colors, of course also give some flavor to the chicken later on. You can see that it's not cooked, it's not meant to be cooked, just take it off. Once it's seared a little bit, put it aside and then go on the next batch. You just want to sear every piece of chicken with some brownness for flavoring and also to keep the moisture in. So add in a bit of oil. For two batches and it's all done. Stir a little bit. There you go. A little bit of color around the roof. I'll just brown it a little bit here. A little bit more oil. Some of them are ready, just take it off, like this is okay, kind of brown, just remove it. Ready. Lightly sear. The French beans, it's not going to be totally cooked, I just want to give a little bit of a wok smell. This is going to be very raw, so once you get a wok smell on it, you can remove it. And then you can use it for later on, when the chicken is almost done, you can just drain together with it. So it's one hot dish. So just kind of leave it there, let it scorch a little bit. Just a little bit of oil. That's it. You will get a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to uh, caramelize sugar so that I can use lesser, about one tablespoon, just use much lesser soy sauce. 
I want to, I want to go less and soft on it. So this kind of a cook it still is a brown. It is turned brown. It turned brown. So once it's brown, add in the ginger. So this will add color to it. Get the ginger really fragrant. This is on uh, low fire now because the wok is really hot. This is a cut iron wok. So once this is done, you can add in your garlic. Just give a light sear. Get a good brownness. In the onions. Everything, spring onion, carrot, work out the aroma. All the preset chicken. That's it well. So at this point, just a little bit of dark soy sauce for color, just around the rim. Minimal soy sauce. Give a good pot. Just to braise it. This is water mixed with the marinade earlier. So not too much, just about slightly under the chicken. And then you can uh, cover it up and braise it on low fire to it's cooked about 25 minutes. Forgotten to put the mushroom. <laughs> but it's okay. Never mind. It happens. So we just rightfully you're supposed to kind of pan fry it first. But it's okay. It's all done. Just uh you can pan fry it on a separate pan, get a good sear and then you add it in. To cook it, so I'm just gonna dry roast it. Just get it a good sear and then the aroma will be intensified and then you can add it into the the whole chicken stew. You can hear the seasoning, just get a little bit brownness here and there. So it's ready. It's a little bit light brown, it's a bit charred and it's intensified flavor. So just kind of pour inside. I add a bit more mushroom water to so add it in and uh, just reduce it later on. Alright, that's it. Same for it. Sprinkling a pepper. Five minutes just throw in the French beans and just mix it well. And we're gonna brace it for another five minutes and it's gonna be done. So this will be at 25 minutes. It all depends on the chicken. Just uh thicken the sauce. Give a little bit of a smooth feeling. So one pot dish, everything you need all inside here. Banana. 